No running in the halls. Let's play. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four. Wow! That's great! Let's play again! Detention for you. When will you learn? Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy. I am a paper mache artist and a puppeteer. And in this video, I will be showing you how to make playtime. A lot of you have been asking me to make her, and now I'm going to show you how it's done. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to cover some safety. Knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy. So please get an adult to help you. Always cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And that includes your fingers. When using hot glue, always wear gloves to protect yourself from burns. Never touch the tip, so please be very careful with this. And I highly recommend adult supervision. Alright, let's start. Alright, so in this video we are going to make play time. So, you're going to need some newspaper. I'm going to start by making the head. And we're going to crumble it. You guessed it. Into the shape of a ball. Now her head is just, just a little bit football shaped. So we're just going to crush it just a little bit. There, there's her head right there and that's it for this roll of tape there you go a new roll of tape just like that you need to make the neck we're going to make a newspaper egg kind of like this So we're just gonna, so we need to make the neck, so take the head, and we're just gonna do this. So crunch some newspaper into this shape. She should kind of look like an onion at this stage. Like that, so there's her neck. There we go. That's her head and her neck attached. We're gonna just set that aside while we make the skirt. Crumble newspaper. So it should look like this. So kind of like the shape of a volcano. Oh yeah, kind of like that. This is what you should have so far. And now, the next thing we're going to make are the legs. So I'll need the two newspaper eggs. They don't have to be very long. Make yourself another one. There. Those are the legs. Now the next thing we need to make are her shoes. Okay, so we're gonna make her shoes. So we're gonna need to take some newspaper. I'm gonna scrunch them into a, a small flat ball or a flat egg. Like this, we're gonna make ourselves another one. Now, what we're going to do we're going to scrunch a very small newspaper carrot and we're going to put it on top of here to make it look like a shoe. Just very small. Like that. So I'm actually going to glue it on top here. You can put it on with masking tape if you want. So I'm going to make myself another one. Oh, 
Oh, before I forget, we need to make her her a nose. So she, we're gonna make ourselves a carrot, a newspaper carrot. There, that'll be her nose. And what is left are the arms. So we're gonna just take some newspaper and make some more newspaper carrots. Then we need to make the hands too. So there's one arm. I'm gonna make myself another one. So here, these are the arms right here. And of course we need to give her some hands. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna scrunch some very flat newspaper eggs like this. You're going to need two of them. And there's two. Alright, so now we're just going to do a little bit of hot gluing. So we're going to need some gloves for protection. I don't want to burn my hand. Okay, so we're going to work on the shoes. So we're going to glue these two on top of here. You can use masking tape if you don't want to use hot glue, but hot glue will be a lot easier. Like that. This, this is one shoe. Okay. I'm going to take the head and I'm going to glue the nose on. should be glued on the center right here. Have it pointing downwards a little bit. Like this. So there's the nose. Now I am going to glue the legs on. But we're going to be attaching this with chain. So. We're going to leave that for now. We're going to, to glue the legs onto the bottom of the skirt right here. And just like this. Alright, so that's it for the hot gluing. So we have the arms here, the hands, the shoes, the skirt with the legs attached, and the face with the nose attached. So the next thing to do is paper mache. I'm going to show you how to make a glue mixture and how to use it. All right, that's coming right up. Okay, so now it is time to start adding paper mache. So I'm going to show you how to make the glue solution. You will need white glue and you're going to need some water. You'll also need a container and a large paintbrush, whatever size works for you. Okay, so you need to mix one part water and one part white glue. So what I mean by that is if you're going to use one cup of water, you will add one cup of white glue. Two cups of water, two cups of white glue. That's what one part water and one part glue means. So I'm going to do that right now. So I got this little measuring cup here. So we're going to start off by adding one part water. So we're going to pour that into the container. And now we need to add one cup of white glue. I'm going to do that. And you just pour it into your water. You can use a small paintbrush to get the glue off. Now you're going to mix your solution. You're going to keep mixing it until it is one smooth solution. Okay, so that should be good enough. So now we have our mixture. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to use this glue. 
So you're going to take your glue mixture and you're going to brush glue onto the surface area with your paintbrush. And once you've got the surface area covered up, you're going to take some tissue paper or toilet paper. I use toilet paper because it's cheap and works really well. So you're going to cover up the surface area like that. And you're going to brush more glue on top of it. Make sure it's covered up nice and soaked. And then, once you've done that, you're going to put even more tissue paper on top and repeat the process. You're going to keep doing this until you have everything covered up in three or four layers. Okay? So let's get busy. Now we're going to take these hands, these flat hands that we made, and we're going to just give her some very rough looking fingers. So we're just going to cut out these lines here that I just drew. We're going to do the same thing to the other hand. Now I'm going to cut these out. Okay, everybody, time to start painting. So, the colors we will need, we're going to need to mix just a little bit of orange and a lot of white to get the skin color. We're going to need some red, and we will definitely need some blue. Got some right here. And we are also going to need some brown for the shoes. That one is too dark. Do I have the right brown color? Ah, here it is. That's the right color. So those are, the, those are the colors that we will be needing. And for the eyes and the smile, I am going to need... We're going to scribble on the eyes and the smile with just some black paint. And here are the colors that you will need. So let's start painting, shall we? Okay, so now it is time to start assembling playtime. So, the neck is going to go right on top of the skirt, like this. Just going to crunch that in a little bit so it fits better on the top. Yeah, like that. And I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to glue that on top. And the next thing we need to do is we need to attach the hands to the arms. So what I'm going to do, you can use pipe cleaner or wires if you want instead. Always wear safety glasses when you're cutting chain. Always. Otherwise something might fly in your eye. Take good care of your eye. You only have one set. Four links of three, like this. Don't need four, I've already cut four. One, two, three, four. Now, if you don't have chain, what you can do is you can improvise. Take some wire, twist ties, or pipe cleaner, like I am right now. 
And what you do is you're going to form a loop and twist it. So it should kind of look like a fish without a tail. And you're going to thread the other piece through the loop and make another loop. And there you go. You have yourself a homemade chain. And you want to make another link? Just do the same thing with another piece. And that's how you can improvise. I'm going to use chain because it, um, it's going to work a lot better. But if you don't have chain, you can definitely use twist ties, wires, pipe cleaners, you know, as a substitute. So, anyway, that's what you do, but I'm going to be using this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole at the end of one piece here. The thing about playtime is she does not have to look perfect, considering the way she was drawn in the game. You're going to put some glue in the hole. You poke the hole with the scissors. Be careful when you're making holes with scissors. And you're going to slide the end of the chain in like that. You're going to leave two links hanging. Now we're going to take a hand and we're going to poke a hole at the end here, at the palm. There's your hole. Put some glue and we're going to take the other end of the chain like this and put it into the hand and there you go and just like that you're going to let that dry and I'm going to put one at the end here so we can attach it to the arms and you should have something that looks like this when you're done. We're going to do the exact same thing to the other hand and the arm. Okay, so now what we need to do next while the arms are drying is we're going to attach the shoes on. We're just going to put some glue. I'm just going to use hot glue. And we're just going to glue it at the bottom of the leg there. So you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we will attach the arms. I will put the eyes and the mouth on and I will show you how to do the hair. So now we are going to attach the arm. So we are going to make a hole on each side just below the head here. We're going to attach them the same way that we did with the arms. So I'm just going to scribble the eyes on. I'm going to use black paint. And now for the smile. Now she is just missing her hair. To make the hair we are going to need some construction paper. So you're going to need a black sheet and a brown sheet. Well this character has curly brown hair and messy black hair. So we're going to make the so we're going to make her curls. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually roll this sheet of brown construction paper. And while the paper's rolled up, we're just going to cut some small snips of this paper here just like that and when, you, when you're cutting them 
we're getting curls just like that. Should have something that looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them onto the head. Just like that. I'm going to need some hot glue. That's her curly hair. And now she's got messy black hair. I cut too many curls here, but that's okay. I am going to take this black sheet of paper and we're going to fold it instead of rolling it. We're just going to fold it this way. Turn it over and fold it again. Then we're going to turn it over again and fold it. You just keep folding it until it's all used up. So once you have it folded, it should come out kind of looking like a fan. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut some tiny squares from here. And there's her messy hair, just like that. She's got a lot of this stuff, so we're going to probably use a lot of this. Kind of like magic, isn't it? You cut a tiny square and poof. You got a whole different shape. Isn't that kind of cool? All right, we have her hair. So now we're just going to glue it onto the head. There, that's kind of looking like her. That's playtime. Now all we need to do left is to make her jump rope. So we're going to need some black pipe cleaner. I think this is going to be a little easier. And you'll need some a small strip of cardboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pipe cleaner, grab two together and twist them together so that they are connected to each other. I'm going to do the same thing to the third piece and I'm going to do it again to another piece. We want to be able to actually go around her body and her head without catching on to anything. All right, so that's our jump rope. Now we're going to connect them to her hands. So we're going to need to cut a small strip of cardboard like that. You're going to need two of them. I'm going to paint both sides. Now we need to attach these uh, strips of cardboard to the pipe cleaner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue. I'm going to glue this pipe cleaner onto this piece of cardboard like this. Do the same thing to the other one. We're going to let that cool down and we're going to wrap the cardboard just around the chain where the arm attaches to the hands. So you see where the hand connects to the arm? We're going to wrap this cardboard around the chain. And we're going to glue it into place. You can tape it into place if you want. So this is what it should look like. So it should be able to move around freely. So we're going to do the same thing to the other hand. So you're going to take the chain and you're just going to wrap this cardboard strip around it. And just like that, once it's dry, playtime is ready to be played with. I'll get to that in just a minute. In order to make her skip, 
you actually need to add some little tiny tabs. So just cut a tiny cardboard rectangle and we're going to glue it onto the ring that we just attached. That way we can just flick it with our thumb and the rope will go around her. So I'm just going to glue that on and you should have something that looks like that. This is what you're going to actually use to make the rope move around. You're just going to grab it with your thumb and you just pull it down. Now I'll show you how to play with her. We're just going to let that dry. So to play with playtime, you're just going to need to hold her arms out like this. And you're going to these little tabs that we installed. I actually added a second one because it might be a little easier. You might, you might want to add, you know, two or three of them so that you can actually flip the rope around. And all you got to do is just pull down on those tabs. One. Two. Three. Four. Wow, that's great. Let's play again sometime soon. Okay. <laughs> so that's how you use playtime. She actually skips. Can be a lot of fun. So like I said, use those tabs that I installed. It's gonna be a lot easier. Might need to add a couple more to make it a little easier, but you wanna just use your thumb and her rope will skip around. That's how you can use playtime. Now you can play with her whenever she wants you to. And just like that, here's playtime. You now know how to make her and how to play with her. And don't forget, I have a video on how to make Baldi and the principle of the thing. If you want to make a costume of them, i show you how it's done as well. So don't forget to check out those videos. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Take one hand and put these two fingers together. Put your pinky on top, and grab your pinky with your index finger. And you just made yourself a puppet friend.